Professor Graham Henderson, and I'm the Vice Chancellor and Chief Executive of Teesside University. I think what makes us distinctive is that we try and serve our community and our economy and the people around us in a way which is very particular to us. So supporting the regional economy, raising aspirations, widening access, engaging people in higher education for the benefit of the local economy is very, very important to us, probably even more important to us than it is for many universities. And I think the way we've done that is important because we've adopted what we refer to at Teesside as a business solutions approach. We, we say, if we want to work with business, you, we must behave like a business. So we are very focused on doing the things the way businesses do them and having that in place. So when a business comes to us for help, what they will see, what they will get is exactly what they would get if they dealt with any other private sector company and that's very important for us. I think our journey started, we adopted a strapline, a mission of the Opportunity University, if I go back to 1992, and we said if people won't come to the university we will take the university out to them. So we created learning centres in the community and we tried through small engagements with the university to encourage people to try and get involved in an educational experience, build their confidence and then grow that engage young people as young as nine and ten in schools and then teenagers with the university and their parents to just try and get them to understand the university had something to offer and then at the other end just started to really try and engage with business and, and with business organisations, the RDA and so on trying to take, put the regional economy at the heart of what we do so you tell us what your priorities are we will build our university around those priorities and so we focused and refocused what we do around those priorities. It's quite interesting actually, in the same week almost, Teesside, uh, Middlesbrough was, was named by location, location, location on the TV as the worst place to live in the UK. And more or less in the same week, the Countryside magazine described the North Yorkshire Moors as the best place to live in the UK, but never mind. The Middlesbrough example, some of the data that led to that result was based on the percentage of young children who needed dental treatment at the age of 10, which was really not very pleasant reading. The, the, the region, the Strategic Health Authority decided there was a real niche issue there, a real need, and they needed to improve the quality of dental care. So they thought about putting more provision in place so that it was mentioned to us, we can do that. At that time, we had no expertise at all in dentistry. We had no dental facilities. But it was indicative of the Teesside University approach to say, if you have a need, we will meet that need. So working in partnership with the Strategic Health Authority, we built a building, we equipped a building, we employed dentists and dental nurses and dental hygienists, and two years later we were delivering dental programmes in my university to meet a regional need. I wouldn't say everybody was on board straight away, no. I think what we did is we started to grow, um, like many universities, Activity started to grow. We have schools, not faculties, but activity grew in our schools and it tended to be those people who were interested. We then took a view that we would drive it from the centre of the university with a strong central core and, and spokes going out into the schools and we brought in people who understood those agendas to drive that for us. We trained and we developed and, and we brought more and, people on, more and more people on board. If you come to Teesside, what you will find is Everything has been put in place to support a mission and a vision that we have. Up to and including the way in work with our board, a set of board members who are empathetic to the vision that we have and, and believe in our vision and mission. So everything from the very top of the organisation down reflects what we're trying to achieve. So that's been the journey we've been on, to move from something which was a community which didn't value education to a business and um, residential community and now does greatly value education.